Good morning students. We are doing the human resources. So today we will be dealing with uh, population changes. The population changes refers to the change in the number of people during the specific time. So here we see in the figure uh, from 1500, sorry, the 500 BC to then we see only 100 millions. Then we shift on to 100,000 uh, BC, 15,000 BC. So the numbers are increasing uh, by years, by the, uh, what is that, uh, centuries. So he can, here we can see the graphs is going up and up. So that is called the uh, population changes in a specific time. So the world population has uh, not been stable. So it is it doesn't remain always equal. As you can see, the graph is moving up and up. So sometimes in some areas it goes opposite so it has decreased manifold has seen in the figure so it has increased in the uh, figure you can see in 6.3 world uh, population growth so here we can see the graph uh, year by year we see how it is going up and up this is actually due to the changes in the number of births and deaths because so we see in some years there will be more birth of the babies and there will be less deaths so in that case, the birth, uh, the population grow, uh, rate will be increasing. For an extremely long period of human history until 1800s, the world's population grew steadily but slowly. So in, the, in this year, 1800, we see that the world population was growing very uh, in a medium, steadily, but and it was very slow. But the, but the large number of uh, babies were born, but they died very early, the earlier days. But they used to they used to birth, give birth in a lot of babies, but also babies were dying earlier too. So there was a lot of uh, slow and steady means balance. There was a balance in our population growth. So this was uh, there were no proper health facilities. Why this happens? Because there were no hospitals, uh, facilities, medicines. So that's why the babies who were born they were dying early, and some were dying with some disease, some problems. So in that way there was a a uh, very slow uh, what is that population growth sufficient food was not available for the people farmers were not able to produce enough to meet the food requirements of all the people as a result the total increase in population was very low so there were no, uh, we see a lot of uh, uh, things that were not working well with the farmers with the food they were uh, not satisfied the people in the older ages and also the young age uh, people also were dying out of starvation because of uh, insufficient water uh, facilities not good of quantity i mean quality so in that ways they were getting a lot of uh, diseases uh, uh, different kinds of uh, uh, physical problems so they were dying uh, soon so that in that way we see that uh, there was a total decrease increase so increase was very low very slow so in 1804 the world's population reached 1 billion so in this year the 100 150 years uh, later in 1959 the world population reached 3 billions so we see that uh, from this year out the difference is uh, graph is going up and up the birth rate is going now very high this is often called population explosion so the lot of uh, in a rapid in a very fast uh, uh, the birth rate is moving that is called uh, population explosion in 1999 40 years later the population doubled into 6 millions so the main reason for this growth was that with better food supplies and medicine death were reducing while the number of births still remained fairly high so here because of a lot of uh, advancement uh, medicines were available different uh, Food supplies were in a very uh, everywhere uh, supplied everywhere to the hungry uh, everywhere everything was available that's why uh, the it was doubled the population got doubled to six billions and the birth of uh, the babies were uh, fairly high only and the death was very less so the births are usually measured uh, using the birth rate that is the number of uh, life birth per thousand people death are usually measured as the death rate the number of deaths per thousand people so in that way they uh, number they rate 
the birth and death population uh, what is increasing which is uh, more or high so migrations of this movement of the people in and out of an area so births and deaths are the natural cause of population changes the birth uh, the birth the, the difference between the birth rate and the death rate of a country is called uh, natural growth rate so this is called natural growth rate the birth and the death rate of the country so every country will have their own uh, uh, this uh, type of one account means there will be some kind of uh, uh, rate will be they will be fixed uh, which is more which is less which countries has more birth uh, rate or which is have more populated in that way they count the population of the each country the population increase in the world is mainly due to the rapid increase in natural growth rate so in every sector of an area we see the rapid uh, growth rate is increasing because of the uh, mainly because of the population increase uh, that uh, what is that in every sectors so here we see the three uh, diagrams are given first one is uh, population increase how the population increases when the number of uh, birth rate is more than the death rate we can see here the population increases so in the middle one we see the birth rate and the death rate are uh, similar means in the same balance it is in the same not any difference so that is called uh, population steady next one is a uh, population decrease how the population goes down so you can see birth rate is very le less and death rate uh, rates are more than birth rate you can see that is called population decrease so in that way uh, they give a rate to each of the countries so migration is another way by which population size changes uh, means people from one place to another they change the cities to cities town and villages in that way uh, that also uh, what is that uh, uh, changes the population size so people may move with uh, a country or between the countries Im immigrants of people who leave a country immigrants are those who arrive in a country so people who uh, immigrate people who arrive from another country they are called immigrants and migrants who go from one place to another countries like the united states of america and australia have gained in a number of immigrants or immigrations so sudan is a, an example of the country that has experienced a loss of population number due to the out migration and immigration so in that way we see how people move from here and there in that uh, also differs their uh, what is that uh, their population rate so general trend of international migrations is from the less developed nations to the more developed nations in search of the better employment and opportunities where there will be more uh, jobs available where there will be more uh, economic uh, they will get so in that way they changes change uh, from uh, a more developed uh, they want uh, every facilities to be there so they change that also differs from place to place within countries large number of people may move from the rural to urban from village to the they move to the uh, cities towns for their job so urban areas in search of the employment for any job so education and health facilities so they move out from here here to there so most of the people are rarely they are steady uh, mostly i we think that uh, only villages villages may be uh, who are doing the farmers so they cannot leave their land so i think only farmers are the who who are steady in their own uh, means own own land they don't move here and there only those who are working those who are doing different different employment jobs they will be moving patterns of population changes so what is the uh, population changes so what is the structure patterns of the population how it changes the rates of population growth vary means differs across the world so different different countries will have different different population uh, records or the rates will be given so although the world's total population is rising rapidly not all countries are experiencing this growth so most of the countries are uh, growing their population uh, daily rapidly but uh, some countries are not uh, experiencing such a, a type of growth they are uh, steady so some countries like kenya has high population growth rates they had both high birth and uh, and death rates also are same so there is no difference 
in a population there because people are getting birth, giving, uh, getting a lot of birth and there also people are also dying there. So now we, with improving health care, death rate have fallen but birth rate still remain high leading to high growth rate. So in some areas we see there are no facilities. Uh, so that's why uh, the birth and the death rate are similar going on, similar. In other countries like United Kingdoms, population growth is slowly because of uh, uh, both low death and low birth rate. So they're in a very um, big countries like United States and all we see there is a low birth also and low death rate also. So there uh, they have no much rapid uh, changes in the birth rate or anything like that. Next topic is uh, population composition. How crowded a country is uh, has led, uh, as a title. Okay, how crowded a country is has little to do with uh, its level of economic development. For example, both Bangladesh and Japan are very densely means very crowdly populated. But Japan is far more economically developed than Bangladesh. So there are similarity, but we see that because of the development. It differs. To understand the role of the pop people of uh, as a resource, we need to know more about their qualities. So people vary great in their age, sex, literacy level, health, condition, occupation and economic level. So not only we see that how important the human resources for itself, they vary from their age uh, and their education, their quantity, their quality, uh, different different aspects uh, that that also differs. That also differentiates how you know, the resource uh, can be uh, utilized by uh, the, uh, the by each one of us. So it is essential to understand these characteristics of the people. Population composition refers to the structure of the uh, population. So the composition of population helps us to know how many are males and females, which uh, are. Uh, group they belong to, how educated they are and what type of occupation they are uh, em uh, employed in, what their economic levels and health conditions are. So these are some of the aspects where uh, the countries is rated uh, in their uh, population and in their uh, what is that uh, uh, in that way they come to the resource means in that way they get useful to their own countries. If they are not employed, so the their countries, their villages, their towns also will be a very in a very bad condition. There will be nothing available. So in that way, if people are employed, if they have jobs, economic condition is good. So the people and the country also will be growing, and they will be becoming a very useful resource to their own uh, uh, country. So an interesting way of studying the population composition of a country is by looking at the population pyramid, also called as a age sex pyramid so age sex pyramid we see male and female which are more in number the population pyramid shows the total population divided into various ages and groups that is 5 to 9 years and 10 to 14 years the percentage of the population total population subdivided into males and females in each of those groups you can see population pyramid one side is male and another side is a female so here we can see the discussion what is their triangle looking diagram so they, this girl is answering this is a population pyramid so what's that it shows that the person number of the males and females in the country along with their age so in the age of between uh, 2 to 8 and uh, 2 to uh, 15 or 10 can i uh, play detective and inst investigate the population of the country sure let's study their country so we'll see different different countries have different uh, what is that uh, population uh, rates uh, the people uh, in the males and females i mean population pyramid of uh, kenya you can see here percentage males and females uh, from the ages also the shape of the population pyramids tells the story of the people living in the particular uh, country this uh, the number of people below 15 years are shown has a, a bottom to reflect and reflect the levels of birth. The size of the top shows the number of the aged people above 65. Okay, 65 years. So this side uh, the ages are given in the uh, 
left side the population pyramid also tells us how many dependents there are in the country there are two uh, groups of dependents young dependents age belong uh, 15 years uh, the early dependent age over 65 those of the working age are the economically active the population pyramid of the country is which uh, birth and death rates both are high in bold at the base and rapidly narrow towards the top so this is because although many children are born and large percentage of them are dying they die in a their infancy means uh, the giving other uh, time of delivery the in the small age only they will be dying so relatively few become adults and there are few people uh, with the old people who also die soon so this situation is a uh, uh, typified by the pyramid uh, shown for the kenya in countries where death rates especially amongst the very young are uh, decreasing the pyramid is uh, bored in the younger age group because more infants survive than adults this can be seen in the pyramid uh, for figure 6 and 8 such population contains a relative large number of young people and which means a strong and expand labor force in countries like japan low birth rates makes a pyramid narrow uh, at the base you can see 6.9 here population of pyramid of japan so why it is like that so because low birth rate makes a pyramid narrow at the base a uh, decreased death rates also allow number of people to reach old age so skilled spirited uh, and hopeful young people endowed with the positive outlook are the future of the any nation so we need india our fortunate to have such a resources so they must be educated and provided skills and opportunities to become able and productive so here we see if we want india to be a very productive country a very developed country so we need uh, people of young age to be more uh, and down to be more enrolled with more education uh, their futures to be more bright only then we in, uh, we, we will be having a very uh, what is that uh, skilled uh, sources means people will be more educated then they'll be called they'll be more res- uh, i mean they'll be more useful for their uh, country so that is called the resources we ourselves are the resources we human beings here the chapter is human resources if we are well skilled well developed well educated uh if you know the knowledge if you have the ability then only then we can be a resource uh for someone source to something if we can create we are recreating things right everything is available we are uh developing going on developing and it is progressing so in that way the pyramid of uh, this every pyramid here we have seen uh which countries is uh, having such kind of population pyramid which is going uh, high which is going low in which birth rate people are getting uh what is that i mean uh low and high uh, from the birth rate to the death rate so that also differs so everything should be uh, i mean should be balanced only then uh, uh, we will have a, a bright future for our country uh, or else if we are uh, having uh, some other unfortunate things which will be facing uh, problems for the country and also Uh, the country also will be having uh, some issues to develop uh, their own uh, government uh, to study or to make uh, something uh, for everyone available facilities and all, and all will be difficult if the population is uh, growing high and high and uh, we uh, people are not uh, do, miss, uh, not making ourselves a resource for something then it will be very difficult to handle so we everyone should understand that we are the source to someone else will be uh, will be uh, responsible for doing something uh, that is will be helpful for others so in that way if we work hard from now then we will be a uh, very bright uh, for others and will be a very useful thing for uh, all the humanities and the country